Man, what's good? What's good? Man, just really want to jump on here, man. You know, right now I'm on the, I'm on the grind, working right now. Um, you know, definitely putting in the hours right now, just trying to get this money. But yeah, man, definitely want to uh, just talk really about this Kevin Sam, you know, the Kevin Samuel. Um, you know, you're just you're just average. Is based on the response and the uproar. And, you know, you know, Kevin Samuel, uh, Samuel um, you know, he's another brother. He talks about pretty much what talking points with Jason Blood talks about on his broadcast of business. And um, he talks almost a similar, similar talking points and, and similar um, avenues of what, what to deal with um, in the basic of power dynamic relationship. And, you know, like I said, you know, I know the video, everybody's seeing it, everybody talks about it. Um, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of women from the swirler community, diverse communities, to other type of community of black women in these different spheres, they've been basically having to say about what he did and wasn't right. And I thought, I'm not, I'm not going to definitely... Uh, be on any side, but I'm definitely going to be know that my man was logical with it. Um, what he did say, a lot of men that are producer, he like to say high value, um, high value could be a range of high value. It's not, it's not really a particular set in stone and what define is high value. I mean, you could be making Seventy thousand dollars and consider yourself high value if you if you among people that make less than what you're making. So that's that's what we always uh, constitute is you can't really put a finger on high value. You can't put a finger on producer, and you definitely can put a finger on peak, high peak. Uh, so that is, I would say that with, with a clear definition. And with the girl, I think, on the stream, she was talking about how she's trying to get a producer or how value you got. And he just, and he basically said she don't qualify. She's the average girl. She said, he, he asked her with a rating. She was truthful with it. She said she was a five. I mean, I mean really, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. I mean, majority of the woman population, as well as the man population, but... Men have different avenues with to circumvent that. Uh, women, they don't really have too many avenues to circumvent that. I mean, really, their sex appeal, their sexuality. Um, I mean, really, Tom is their best friend, but Tom is actually their greatest enemy. Uh, what, what they what they use, um, if they misuse their sexuality, they can come. They could come with some burdens and baggage that would definitely eliminate them from whatever potential desire they want to have. It just be, it just disappear, it just dissipate. And uh, majority of females are average. I mean, you have a lot of that is a four to a uh, five and a six. Five is, is down the middle, average. Six is. Is a little bit above average, but still in the in the uh, in the realm, the range. Four is below average, but like again, is right there by average. So you, the majority of your women population, they hover in that three and them three numbers. And a lot of women thought that he was wrong for saying that she was average, and all she's really deserve as an average guy. The thing is, most majority of of women um, really can't, only can't, unless they up their game up. And it's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of soul searching. You got a lot of women that are very, very, very stubborn and to really, really talking about their faults. And like when you talk to women, women are very intelligent, but they're very selfish. And selfishness always breeds stubbornness so and um you know he basically told the girl that he was trying to you know get certain information out of her 
she started being very combative. Uh, and, you know, he just really didn't have time for it, you know. And he basically, he did what he did. I think a lot of women didn't like that That the, 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 the conversation is now is really, really changing now. It's not really, it's not really what it used to be. It changed and morphed it. And I, and I definitely will have to put credit due to the Black Channel, to, to Jason Black, because he really talked about the dynamic uh, the power dynamic of the relationship of a man and a woman and what is options with men's high peak producers uh, what's what woman is is missing to what woman that is definitely need to um, acquire same with the men uh, men we require resources uh, that's been the way since the beginning of time women um, he, uh, man, shut up, my man came out with the definition of a high peak woman. Women maneuvers better when they have a resources of men that they, that they have. It's not, it's not really in, about sleeping with the men. Cause that's where, that's where the, a lot of women today, and you know, really gets things wrong. You ain't really supposed to sleep with the men. But you're supposed to use the sexuality to attract these men, but also to give the, a, a notion that you're not competing against the men, because you're, you're really you're competing against other women, and that gives you a dominant towards the women, because you got basically a cooperative and almost like a partnership, and just also a backing of the men. Um, like I said, a lot of women was upset. They take, you know, they, they they were, you know, a lot of them, you know, went after him for what he said. Uh, he basically said, "Well, a lot of men is not is really scared, not scared, but a lot of men today don't really want to say it because a lot of them, in a way, still have this thing of want to be, you know, knight in shining armor." And, I don't, and that really can't fly no more. You really can't just keep, really just keep, just keep giving cover to women on just the just the BS that is going on with them, and the and just the foolery going on with them. And just like I said, I I, I talked to many women, and I said white material. They said what? I said I have a clean slate. Um, you got man coming instantly rebuttless. And woman too. Oh, there's no such thing as clean say. Oh yes, there is. Um many guys don't want their woman chatted up. If you make it, if you are if you're a guy that that's very successful in what you're doing, you 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 intelligent, you know, very intel intelligent, um, even in fashion to some sense of knowing things, um, very worldly um, of just of substance, you're not gonna want your woman to be no hood rats. You know, that's just not the thing for it. You're not. You ain't gonna want your woman to be no hood rat. You, if you're a woman that really look more of a worldly things or substance, you don't really want no 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 thug dude. Um, gangsters is different than thugs. Gangsters are more businessmen. They they more more innovators and stuff like that. That's the Thugs are just some dude that's very intelligent that just that just basically just just exists just on a pretense of existence, and that's just what it is between a gangster and a thug. But um, uh, but yeah, man, just the just the 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 the, the what, what the, the um the need that would need to be happening, the conversation that need to be happening. Like I think I talked to some. Young girl, 21, workout, you know, bombshell. Pretty girl. Now, she said her, her legs were shot. Now, I mean, look, I told you 21. I mean, you can still get a pass, but if your legs are already like a 40-year-old, I don't know, I don't know if this going to, you know, this is going to work for a lot of dudes. But, uh, but you know, she was just talking about her friend. I said, yo, your hair is good. And I said, nah. I said, your hair is basic. Your hair ain't like, it's nothing new. Your hair is just straight. That's okay, but it's straight. 
that's a to, to, that's really a basic a basic hairstyle. Um, I mean, you know, some dudes like most dudes like long hair, but you got a lot of dudes that like short hair too. So, but it also depends on how you do it. If, you do, if it's kind of have a more of a rarity, unique to it, uh, rare, unique. That's almost like a sexiness to it. Uh, that you do things differently than just wearing it straight. And like to that, to to most people, that's like almost like blame, uh, boring. Uh, she really don't have no type of creativity in, in what she's doing, or something like that. But women will lie to each other. You know what I'm saying? They don't really be honest with each other. Only if it really comes to um, competing for what they want, that's when they will become hostile to each other. But but on, on, on real circumstance about when it, when it's said appearance that is trying to trap men, not just any man, but a, a, a producer or a high peak, um, it's a different it's a different way they gotta ca carry themselves, and many of them don't really know how to carry themselves. Um, I think many of the complaints really of women is, is older women. Uh, like I said, a lot of women that's in their thirties and forties and up, that's almost a lost cause. Unless you can really reform what you've been doing for the past ten, twenty, or thirty years, or even forty years, it's, it's, there's really no hope for you finding a suitable partner and a man to help you ease your life. Because that's what every woman look at. Every woman looks at about basically of living an easy life. Most women can't really, they do not like struggling. And I'll tell you, that's one thing my man Jason Black said, women cannot stand the average man because he struggles through life. Same way with the man, a producer or whatever. They can't, even, even a man that's a, considered high value or high, you know, high value, whatever, they, they can't, deal with a, a average woman, a struggling woman. So definitely there's some things that, that needs to be addressed. And this is a good thing. It is being addressed. The woman's not taking it what the men's taking it. But like I said, there's there's a lot of emotionalism even with uh, among men. But like I said, you had a lot of men that came up in single mother households. So that was that's almost a, uh, a a thing that needed to be addressed as well, um, but like I said, I'll tell, I'll just like I just wanted to just get my my intake on the Kevin Samuel, um, you know, with, on his on his rebuttal and what he said, and I kind of agree with I agree with most of what he was saying. Uh, nothing, no point attended to it. All right, one.